Hey guys, it's Winnie, and I'm going to show you how to do a few cute hairstyles on your doll with straight hair. Because, um, Winnie has very straight hair. Like, even on her description, it said that her hair is straight. Um, there's a difference between dolls with really long hair and straight hair. Because straight hair, um, it's, you can't do as much styles with it. And if you have Julie, I think Julie's hair isn't straight, it's just long. Um, but, um, straight hair is thin, straight, and, um... It's very pretty, and most people just like to brush it because it's really pretty when um, it's brushed out. Here's what it looks like when it's brushed out. So I'm going to show you how to do a few cute hairstyles. And all you need, sorry, she's not standing right now, is a hairbrush and some hair ties. You don't really need a bobby pin or anything. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now this hairstyle is pretty easy. All you'll be needing is three hair ties. Okay, so just take a piece of her hair and, um, you can take two or one. I'll just take one and put it in front of her shoulder so I can um, frame her face some more. And then if you want the hair um, to be angling in a way, you can um, part it like this. But I'm just going to put it um, down the middle. So just make it to a normal ponytail. Okay. So make sure it's kind of at the top. And um, if you want it to go higher, just take her hair and go split it and do that. Okay, then take another hair tie. And I recommend color, colorful ones because it makes it cuter. And then um, go down just a little bit. And, sorry. Put your hair tie there. Sorry. And slide it down. And try to make, um, make a little round like a bubble, so it can look equal, and oh my gosh, I'm so dumb, I got the string, okay, then take your third one, and this is a little tricky, because your hair looks like it gets a little layered from here, just take it, and then, then form the bubble with your little fingers, and so you have your ponytail hair, really cute. And um, it takes the hair like so it won't get messy if you want to take her um, on a trip or in your bag. And then her hair won't get all over the place. And then here she looks like in the front. She looks really cute with her hair like that. And it, um, it also looks good if, um, if it's just a normal ponytail. So yeah, that's hairstyle number one. So for this hairstyle, you're going to have to put your doll's hair over her shoulders. Um, and it's pretty easy, just take your hand and then just go like that. And then, this hairstyle, you'll be uh, needing some practice for this. Um, especially for dolls with straight hair because their hair is just going to get annoying and it's going to go its own way. So yeah, and for this hairstyle, I'd recommend these kind of elastic bands that stretch more. And they're Okay, now, part her hair into three, just like that. And it's not going to be that equal because her hair at the back is shorter. So just cross these two hairs together, and then take your back hair, and, oh, sorry, put it in front of your second strand, and then go take the first one and put it in front like that. Okay, so if you have the right result, it should look just like that. And if you're having some trouble, just put it in the comments. Sorry for the phone. <laughs> and then keep on doing it. And I'll show you what to do once you get in trouble because the hairs get short. Okay. Now, on the bottom of your hair, it's going to be all uneven. So just twist everything. And then hold it, like, securely. Just really pinch the hair down with your fingers. Take a really good elastic band like this this one um, and then just wrap the hair around like so so here's the result of her braid and it's not really in front of her shoulder since I had to have the camera angle like this so yeah and then just do the same with the other side Okay, this hairstyle is pretty easy, but it is kind of tricky, so um, pay attention to the video. Um, and I recommend this kind of elastic band. Okay, so pull back her hair as if 
you're um, going to so wrap it around three times. Okay. Then on your third wrap, you want to put her, you want to point her hair upwards, just like that, and just loop it like that. And then have your bun and then take the hair and tuck it right underneath the little elastic bands or if you want you can use a clip because it's much more better so I'll fix that in a minute so all you had to do is because um, I forgot my bobby pins okay so what you have to do is just take it and twist it and then put your little bobby pin and make it nice and even